our focus in this business is red wine. We make a little bit of dry rosé. We don't do any white wine. So it's red wine primarily and a little bit of rosé. So our red wine, the fermentation is all done in the traditional open tanks with the punch downs. So what the French call pigeage. And our punch downs in the early years were done with these big wooden um, paddles. And we stand on top of the tanks with a piece of boarding across the top and punch down. And then some years ago we had probably our greatest technological revolution at Grangehurst when we introduced the stainless steel punch downs. So that's moving with the times and becoming a, a lot more scientific in our winemaking. <laughs> so we, we have three basic words that we like to use. It's like a mantra that we have to describe our winemaking, our philosophy, our whole approach here. The three words are handcrafted, which was illustrated with part of it being the hand manual punch down of the, uh, the skins during the fermentation. Traditional, very much a traditional usage of equipment such as that wooden plunger paddle, our open tanks, our basket presses, and then the, the other word that we use to describe is um, our unhurried approach. Because just to explain the, the handcrafted and the traditional side to our business, it starts off right in the, the vineyard at the day of harvest when we make sure that we only have the grapes hand-picked, not using machines to harvest the grapes. Those grapes are all put into little, uh, 18, little um, crates which take about 18 kilograms of grapes per, per crate, which means that the grapes remain in very good condition. When they arrive at the cellar, they haven't been squashed on the journey at the bottom of a big bin. The, the sorting table is a manual sorting table, so we actually move the grape skins down by hand, which is great because we can go as quickly or as slowly as we need to go, depending on how much we want to remove from the, the, the grapes. That's part of the um, Part of the sort of attention to detail that I think is possible with a smaller scaled winery, a lot of the very large wineries, um, they don't have the time to do all of that, so the grapes just all go into a big bin. Obviously there's still some very good wines made that way, but I like to think that taking that little bit of extra effort that we do does have some positive effect at the end, on the end result of the wine. All of our wines, including the Pinotage, tend to be a little bit more classical European in style rather than New World. South Africa is considered one of those wine producing countries which has elements of New World, elements of classical European and our wines definitely we've had this ongoing feedback over the years that our wines are more in the line of the classical European wine rather than a typical New World. And these are all wines that one can keep for at least 10 years, in fact we normally only start selling them when they're about 8 or 9 years old and keep them for up to 15 years. In fact I've opened in the last six months we've opened a lot of bottles of our 1995 and 98 vintage wines because those are the birth years of our two daughters and those wines are still very much alive and I think that's quite typical of the Granger style wines that you could start drinking when they're eight years old keep them until they're around about 18 to 20 years old quite safely as long as they've been kept in reasonable conditions.